What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. Today's lesson is going to be short as I've only got six expressions for you. But I do think that sometimes less is more. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn six super useful expressions that can come in handy even for your exams. There will be two groups. In the first one, there will be two expressions that we can use when we want to change our mind. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to teach you four expressions that you can use when you finally realize something. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. So first, we're going to learn two expressions that you can use when you want to change your mind. So I think they can come in handy, especially for people who tend to change their minds quickly. As a Libra, not only do I find it difficult to make up my mind, but I can also change my mind very quickly and easily. I can say no, and then in a minute, change my mind and say yes. And I also think you can use these expressions in your exam when you want to change your mind because you have thought more about it. So the first expression we're going to learn today is on second thoughts, if it's British, or on second thought in singular, American. You can use this expression when you want to change a decision you've made or your opinion. And now I'm going to give you three sample sentences. The first one, on second thought, I'll pick the same prompt. You can use this sentence in your speaking exam, part three, at first, CAE and CPE. The second example, I'll have a Coke. On second thought, water is healthier. And one more example, we don't need to take out insurance. On second thought, maybe we do. And now let's move to our second expression, which is very similar to the previous one, on reflection. I think you can use this expression, especially in your writing, for example, in your essay. The first sample sentence on reflection, I do want to travel to Paris next summer. Initially, I thought that maybe it wasn't time to spend money, but in the end, I decided that time goes by very quickly and I want to travel as much as I can and live here and now. Number two, on reflection, we should implement your idea because it will benefit the community hugely. And one more example here, on reflection, it seems to be a good plan. And guys, before we continue and learn four more useful expressions, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to like it. And if you enjoy my videos and you haven't subscribed to English Vids yet, please make sure you do so. Thank you. And now we're going to learn four expressions that you can use when you suddenly realize something. So our third expression is now I come to think of it. Now I is optional and if you want, you can omit it and just say, come to think of it. So this expression can be used when you suddenly realized something or remembered something or thought of something. For my Spanish speakers, in Spanish, it would be ahora que lo pienso. And now three simple sentences. The first one, now I come to think of it, I forgot to wish him a happy birthday. Come to think of it, I haven't been abroad for three years. It's time to set off. And one more example here. Come to think of it, you don't need much to be happy. Number four, I think this one is my favorite. And then it hit me. You can use this expression when you have a sudden realization and you suddenly understand something. The first simple sentence, I was on my way to the airport and then it hit me. I had forgotten my passport at home. Number two, 
And then it hit me. I'm always attracting narcissists. And one more example here. And then it hit me. Griping won't make me feel better. To gripe means to complain in an annoying way. Number five, a very similar expression to the previous one. It suddenly dawned on me. Suddenly is optional and you can say it dawned on me. So the C2 phrase verb, to dawn on someone, means to understand something after a period of not understanding it. The first simple sentence, sooner or later, the truth will dawn on Russian people. Number two, it suddenly dawned on him that it was the beginning of the end. And one more example, it dawned on me that it's not worth living in the future. And last but not least, the expression in hindsight. It means that you can only understand an event or a situation after it has happened. So we use it to talk about something that has already happened. In Spanish, it would be a toro pasado. The first example, in hindsight, we should have taken the train instead of driving. The traffic is horrendous. Number two, in hindsight, it was the right decision. And the last example for today is from one of my favorite songs by Taylor Swift called Wildest Dreams. And she sings, you'll see me in hindsight, tangled up with you all night, burning it down. So guys, to sum up, today we've learned six very useful expressions that I think can come in handy for your exams. And they are on second thoughts, British or American on second thought. Number two, on reflection. Number three, now I come to think of it or just come to think of it. Number four, and then it hit me. Number five, it suddenly dawned on me or just it dawned on me. And last but not least, number six, in hindsight. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video up to the very end. And I really hope you enjoyed this short and I hope useful lesson. And please let me know in the comments down below what expression that we have learned today is a favorite. In my case, it's, and then it hit me. This is my favorite. I think it's very funny. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to like today's lesson, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely Sunday, and see you next Wednesday, and also next Sunday, I make two weekly lessons. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching today's video and have a lovely day. Ciao for now.